Welcome back. Another night at Disney Springs. We're about to leave on a three hour tour on this boat behind us, so why don't you stick around and join us? <laughs> You're so funny. No, we're not. A couple things. It's not a real boat. We're not, we're not going anywhere. It's a building that looks like a boat that sits on a submerged cement foundation. And in case you're new here, we're Kevin and Karen, and we drink and we do things. That's what we do. We really do. We drink and we, we do really things. Do. So tonight, Disney Springs, we're going to go to Paddlefish. Looks like a boat. Never not leaves. A boat. Not a boat. Not it's a, a boat. It's a it's a boat bar or a bar. <laughs> a, a bar boat. It's a bar boat. It's a bar boat. So we're going to check that out, and then we're going to check out some entertainment tonight. Um, an act that we're not too familiar with, Hayes Over Hollywood. They played um, at one of the places we were at a couple days ago, uh, Boxy Park. So we mm -hmm. thought we'd come and check them out. They're kind of new to us, so we're gonna bring you along and we're gonna get some drinks and do, do things. things. Fish, seafood, steaks. We are on, I believe, what's known as the promenade deck. Promenade. Um, promenade. promenade. Seafood. Yeah. Steaks. Yeah. But that's not what we ordered. No, we ordered drinks. We ordered drinks because that's the first order of business. Mm -hmm. I went with a classic margarita. I went with a beer. Which is a little backwards. I know. Normally, no. I get the beer. Key West Sunset? I think it's called. I've had it. it. Sounded familiar. Yeah. Paddlefish at the Springs used to be Fulton's Crab House. Before that, it was originally, and I didn't know this till recently, Empress Lily, which used to have a lounge and three different restaurants in here. When it was first opened here, it was called like Disney Village Shops. So 1977, they built this structure oh, to look like a to look like a paddle boat. Mm -hmm. It's really a building that looks like a boat. And when it first opened, the, the, the big paddle wheel used to used to Actually spin turn. all the time. Maybe it sounds a little bit familiar. Yeah. So it was yeah Empress Lily, and when they commissioned it or christened it when they opened, Lily or Lillian Disney christened it Walt's widow. Uh, so it was originally named uh, after that's cool. her. That's cool. And that's back when this was known as like I think Disney Village, Village. shops. So even before mm -hmm. and then. And then it became Pleasure Island after that. And then in the 90s, when Disney decided to start taking all of their restaurants and outsourcing them or having outside people run them, that's when it closed as uh, Empress Lily and some restaurant group took it over and it became Fulton's and then now uh, Paddlefish. And it opened up, there's a lot of restaurants that are renovating here. It opened up, I think a couple weeks after the renovated Planet Hollywood opened up. Oh, I remember that. Like everything was under construction at the yeah, same time. It's renovation, like. yeah. Right. Yeah. So we're on the 
promenade. Not the, not the prom promenade. Promenade. Mm -hmm. Promenade, which is fancy boat terms for the top of the boat where it's open at the top. Beautiful views up here. And if we're going to use boat terms, I think we're on the aft of the boat. Oh, good grief. Right. Maybe, if you say so. So I think we're on the promenade aft. We ordered a couple drinks, so okay. we're going to get drinks, then we're going to go and see some entertainment. They are playing at this, what's the name of the area that's next to the boathouse? Water view, oh, view park, view park, water view park, remember, water, water scene park, water view, view, view scene, view scenic park. Water view. Oh, I think it's known, it's, it's known as that little place next to the boathouse where musicians play, <laughs> right? Maybe. Got the classic margarita with the black salt. Black salt. salt. It's a little freaky, but it's good. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Tequila is so good. Yeah. Do you want to try it? Yes. You wish you got one now, yes, right? A little bit. Yeah, I have to have the salt. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is good. Yeah. Just like that time that we were at um, Abracadabar. You remember? Do you know what I'm going to say? We did swapsies. I like your drink better than mine. Do you want? Do you want no. to swap again? No. no. It's okay. It's okay. I'll stick with it. So when this was the original place, Empress Lily had had three restaurants and a jazz lounge. So there was the Baton Rouge Lounge, which was the forward main deck, which would mean it's probably right below us. Forward. No. Oh, so it would be on the other mm -hmm. end, one deck below us. Mm -hmm. And there was the Stearman's Quarters, which was the aft section, which specialized in cattle in beef and so it was themed like western cattlemen's oh um, interesting theme. so it was like i guess like a steakhouse mm -hmm. and then there was the fisherman's deck it was the promenade deck where they did seafood oh and then there was an empress room oh so there was an em an empress room which was um the aft promenade so that would mean it was this area it right here, here where the bar is in. and it was the um at the time, it was the most upscale dining. So, mm -hmm. up until I think, what's the one that opened up at maybe the, the Grand Floridian? Which, where's, where's like the really upscale dining now? Albert, something Albert's or? Victorian Albert's at the Grand Floridian. So Grand Floridian, what is it again? Victoria and Victoria. Albert's. So before that, this, this, when this, this was, this was the version of the upscale dining. Oh, and actually, back then, this was the first location of a character breakfast. Really?
made our way from Paddlefish down to the entertainment area, which is called the what? The view? The 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 view something? Water view. Water. It's water. beside the boathouse. <laughs> water view. It's park. between the boathouse and the hangar bar. Water view park. Oh I yes. That, I think that's yes. It. That's it. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Possibly. A couple more drinks uh, from the cart. That's the, the drink cart that's right outside of the boathouse. I went with a with an IPA. Beach hippie IPA. Where'd you go with? Never had it before, right? I don't think I've ever had it before. I don't think so either. I went with the Daytona Dirty Blonde. Never had that before either. Persimmon Hollow. Persimmon Hollow Mine Beach says the same Hippie thing. IPA. Persimmon Hollow Daytona Dirty Blonde. All right, so from the same brewery. So a couple more drinks. And so the entertainment, the band we're seeing tonight, um, Hayes over Hayes Hollywood. Over Hollywood. Uh, the singer, Alex Cole, singer, songwriter. And then his drummer slash vocalist is Josh either Padilla, Padilla, how do you think we, Padilla? I'm not even gonna try to guess. Okay, well he goes by the name Tons, so that's his name. Oh, that's and I funny. guess it, it, it comes from Tons of Fun. I knew you were gonna say that. That's what I, I read, it. that's why he goes by Tons. So, two piece uh, indie, rock, jazz, uh, influence. We're still drinking and doing, doing things. things. The last time you said, Oh, leave us a comment on where you want us to go, yes. and we'll go there. Yes. And nobody left us a comment, so they don't want us to go they anywhere. They don't want us to go ever, anywhere, never. so we're just going to go wherever we want. All right, so then, yeah, so tomorrow's video will be from Bingo. I'm at the local Elks Do you Lodge. Do want to go to Bingo? I no, don't but they, bingo. Don't, they don't care where they we go. They don't care. So, it's fine. tomorrow night, catch the vlog. It'll be Bingo from the Elks Lodge. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Whatever.